Hey everyone, this is Natasha from Makeup in SFC. If you'd like to see how I did these brows, then please keep on watching. I hope you enjoy this video and that it's easy to understand. I talk a lot in it. I love brows. And so this is my updated routine using almost all, I think, yeah, they're all drugstore products. So if you'd like to see how I did it, then please keep on watching. Bye. Ah! So today we are doing our brows. Now I was talking to my friend Jen and we were just talking about how brows are a constant battle with us. We never do them the same way twice. So I wanted to do a tutorial on how I'm currently doing it. I'm always, you know, changing the shape, changing the style changing the products because I love my brows and I like messing with them and I like the fullness that I can get or the natural brow that I can get. They are sparse in a few areas. I grew them out for a few months and then I got them waxed at the benefit counter and since then I've been plucking them myself. Now unfortunately I feel like I've lost some of the shape. I tried to keep what she did. Um, just plucking the hairs that I saw were um, growing in but now I feel like I need to go back so that she can just tell me which ones to not pluck and which ones to keep. I'm trying to grow out my brows and, and by doing that I use such things as castor oil and this is from La Palma. I just got this at my Whole Foods kind of grocery organic grocery thing near my house. Something that you want to look for when you are looking for a brand is that it is cold pressed, organic, um, those types of things because like, like you know, you're putting it on your face, on your skin, near your eyes and so it's very important that you use something that's not going to damage or, or infect it. And so what I do is I comb this with a spoolie through my brows and through my lashes and over the years that I've used this, I've used not this brand, but castor oil in general. I've used it for almost two, three years. I do notice that my hairs are long. I'm just trying to grow them in the places that I want. So in the tail, up at the arch, those are where I'm looking for growth. So some brow products that I like to use. If you saw my last video, I'll link it down below. I used Anastasia products, but I also listed some of my drugstore favorites. So currently my favorites are the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. And so this pencil comes with, I'm sure you've seen this all before, it comes with this like really thin pencil on one side and a spoolie on the other. And so this is really good for creating brow-like hairs, which is what everybody wants when you're doing your brows. Um, another alternative that I like to use is the Define a Brow. And I think this mimics the same kind of texture that I'm looking for because of that thin pencil. Another thing that you're going to need are brow gels. And these are two of the ones that I have used. This one is from Maybelline. It is the Brow Drama Brow Sculpting Mascara. And then this is the Anastasia. This is the clear one. Um, I've used both of these interchangeably. Right now, I like using this one. It's a little tinted and um, it has the weirdest brush. At first I didn't like it and at first I didn't like this this mascara but I've started to like it just because I like the effect that it gives and the hold that it has. Um, and this one, this one is hairspray for your brows. It's like no joke. It will stay and it will keep everything in place. It's super glue. So this is really good too. I think this is 18 and I think this is like 5 or 6 dollars. I like to conceal. So right now I'm using the e.l.f. all over stick and this all over stick is just a regular concealer. This is in the color honey. That looks really gross. Um, and I use it on a flat uh, synthetic eyeliner brush. So I just take a little bit of that and then I start to clean up under the brow. That's what I do if I like really want to get fancy. Okay, so after that long thing, I'm going to try to edit that into something useful. Okay. So I want to do like a drugstore on one side and then high end on the other, but these are two different colors so it wouldn't match. So for now I think I'm going to use my drugstore alternative since I used the Anastasia dip brow in my other video. But I think they're comparable. If this one came in a little ashier of a brown, I think this would be the pencil that I would use more often. The thing that I like to do is I like to draw under. 
because that's where I'm lacking the most hair. So for me, that's where I'm going to start to to pencil it in. So I'm drawing just small flickers. It's as if I'm drawing in the hairs that I wanted to be there. This front part I'm going to leave alone for a while. Okay. So then the next thing that I attack is the top. If you ever took math, it's like parallel lines. So this line is the bottom one, and the top one's going to be somewhere up here. So I'm just, again, mimicking the hairs. I really love this pencil because it's so easy to, to put on. Like, it's so pigmented, and it's really cheap. The next thing that you always want to do is you just want to brush through. And I'm not pressing so hard that I'm like on the skin. I'm lightly pressing through the hairs just to distribute some of the product. And then you're just going to start filling in between. There's really no path. Like you're just filling in the areas. Now the thing that you want to remember is for the ends of the brows. A lot of people may go too short. And for me, I have no hair growth right here. It is there, but it's very slight. So what I like to do is I like to measure where the end of my brow will be, and it's about there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw hairs that are supposed to be there. And instead of drawing one straight line, I'm going to draw hairs as if it was growing next to each other. So that looks about right. Let's take a little bit off. So see, my hairs are naturally growing that way. My friends make fun of me because I always make a mad face when I'm doing my brows. It's what I need to do. Now for the arch of my brow, I'm just going to draw what hairs would be there. And I have a scar there, so I have to press a little harder so that it fills in that space. always brushing through. I'm doing this with no contacts and my mirror is a little farther than usual so hopefully this looks right. I'm not blind but things can get pretty blurry. I like to comb the hairs so that when you see the brow, you see the hair so that it still looks natural. And so what I like to do is I like to just take the pencil and follow the hair growth and just mimic the hairs in the front. But I'm not drawing like a block right there. This is the part that can get tricky for a lot of people, including myself. There's some days where I like really squared off and not meaning to. But it's just all about just applying less pressure. Over here it was a little bit more pressure because I want it to have a gradient effect, but it's really your preference. If you want the block eyebrow, do your thing, girl. Just know that you will, you'll get talked to about it, I'm sure. Someone always has something to say. So, if you can tell between the two eyebrows, it's different. <laughs> and so that's why I like to fill in my brows, just because it gives me a little bit more shape. It gives me a little bit more of a frame for my eye, especially when I do eyeshadow. This really helps to bring everything and root it down um, on your face, because if all of this looks a little scruffy, it, it almost takes away from your eye makeup. Okay, so I'm going to do the other brow and then I'll come back.
and that was not fast forwarded. The next step that I would like to do is set them. So today I'm going to be using the Maybelline one. It has a little bit of a tint to it. I'm using the color Deep Brown. And this is just to keep my hairs in place. The ones that I'm most concerned about are the ones at the end. Because they droop, I like to keep them where I can see them. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that brow gel and just run it through, just like that. And I'm not, again, pressing too hard onto my skin. I'm just making this really lightly through the brow hairs, just so I can coat them a little bit and then put them where I want them. So I like to apply my base first because I'm going to end up putting eyeshadow. And this for me, it's a cleanup step and it's also a highlighting step. So I take this um, flat shader, no, this is a flat eyeliner brush, and I'll take just the tiniest bit on my brush. And then I'm gonna start to clean up by just lining the bottom. And this will help clean up any of those, like if you made any stray lines or just highlight. And then what I like to do is I like to drag the concealer down to blend it. And I'm not pressing very hard. And then the last step is I like to just smooth it over with my fingers. And then the very important step is I like to blend in between the two, and so I'll take a spoolie and just run it between the two, the concealer and the pencil. That's what I like to do. So sometimes I'll take a little bit of the concealer and just do the outside of the tail because I can get a little crazy and draw too much. Um, and that's about it. I don't do the top. And that's how I do my brows. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy my video and that it was helpful for you. And now I think my next video is how to put on eyeliner. So stay tuned for that one. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.